Hey folks, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Now I said that I said that last time we pick up right where we left off, but that's a bit of a false because I did have a bunch of new modded spells I needed to properly test and add to my inventory and all that. And I have done that now. I went back and went to uh, Whiterun and did a bunch of spelling. Mainly so I could have the gold necessary to get all the spells. Now... Anyway, with that said, let's make our way back to White Run on camera because we do have a couple of quests to turn in. We might as well do that. And then we are going to continue our quest down to investigate these dragons and rumors of dragons that seem to float all around Helgen for some reason. Or something happened in Helgen, but we're going to go investigate. I'm sure it's nothing really all that important. Is something there was something on my map? Did I over, did I run past it? Up oh, there it is. Might as well get it on my map. Bandit. Oh boy, that was not good. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, you know, them these camps the are just kind of out in the oh, open, aren't they? You'd think they'd be a little bit better hidden considering they're in the middle of a civil war. Unlock chest of that. Yes, please. Okay. Is this going to be another one of those hidey holes? Just a little cave out in the middle of nowhere. So 
for those of you, of course, who watch the Toku Power Weekend, you probably know I actually found the problem that was causing those massive raindrops. Presumably the lag issue. What the heck is this cave? I seem to have stumbled upon. I really should be giving uh, Lucian a little bit more practice. Shouldn't I? Corpse. I installed a uh, Khajiit mod a while back, a texture mod, to make the male Khajiit more have a similar style aesthetic to the female. But there are so few Khajiit you actually see in the wild, it's kind of hard to check to make sure I did it right. Meh. That kind of works. Match style aesthetics are kind of important to me. That's why I personally converted the Better Claws and Gauntlets mod. The mod author hasn't converted to SSC, and he said he didn't want me to convert to SSC because eventually he will convert to SSC. So I haven't converted to SSC and released it. But I do personally use it. I really need to update this thing to fix the things that it seems to be excluding. Summit. Better not keep him waiting.
seems cruel. If I actually were to hide in that wardrobe, would I be able to get out? Neither. They're dead. Hey, Ferbeth. So Furbus, how long do you think it's going to take us for us to actually reach Kelgan to investigate these rumors of Dragon? Well, congrats on the new laptop. Yes. Later tonight, we will be doing ponies. Primarily, I like to wait until I can confirm that... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't get too many opportunities to do an actual sneak attack. Wait, 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 wait. Can I do a sneak attack with a pickaxe? No, I can't do a pick attack, sneak attack with a pickaxe. Oh, well.
Yes, gang. I'm well aware that this is Skyrim. You don't need to keep showing me the iron helmet. burden. That's how it's done. Okay, Janatha. Just ruin my fun. Janata, ruin my fun. Hello, Red Ranger. It is so nice not having the same problems I was having before. I can't believe I just it was this simple matter of updating my server. badass that she wants to be. Actually, this remi Actually, can I? That's the question. Quite the right mods in place for the Dragon Priest Master. Hopefully tonight I'll be able to uh, uh, not use my phone for the broadcast. Hopefully I'll be able to use the new computer that I'm getting today. That's so always good. nice. Okay. So apparently I've got some really weird stuff going on with the Dragon Breeze mask. <laughs> it's not counting as any slot. I could wear it with everything. I have to tinker with that to fix it. <laughs>
you to use fear, would I? On the boss? Probably not. I don't know if it's a, if it would be an, an hour for us. It really depends on when uh, Masato gets on. Powerful for fear. Is he too powerful for calm? Brat ain't mine. Be anyone. Won't get one rusty scent from me. Now ain't this a surprise? Oh, that didn't work. That did not work at all. Pretty sure Hadvar Iron Fist is dead now. Let's see what his journal says. Pickings have been good these past few weeks. Must be because of the war lots of merchants and cap caravans looking for somewhere to curl up and hide from all the fighting. I suppose. Yo ho. Oh no, goodbye. If we're What's up with you, Psycho? If, if we're watching I am not dealing with G3 tonight. Oh right now we're actually just doing Skyrim. We'll be doing G3 later. We will be doing G3 later. The first episode of G3. 
a curious birthday, or something along those lines. I wonder. Can I get my horse to actually show up? Nope, my horse has gone missing. That's a bummer. Guys, I have to confess something. Guys? Yes? That means you too, Firmus. I have been watching a Magical Girl series and found it likable. What season? It's Precure. Yes, what season? current one. So you've been watching, is it Maho, or is, was it the one after Maho? The one themed after desserts. So, sweet peak free cure. <laughs> yeah. The lion grab... The lion one grabbed my curiosity, but five episodes in, they have my attention. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I've actually now seen uh, Amaho Shoujo done right. Yeah, told you that toy could do it. It's just Princess Freak here is absolutely horrible and should burn in hell. Who were the characters again? Were there any characters? Nikolai, can you respond to the joke? In pre in Princess Precure? No. Yeah. There's no characters in Princess Precure. There's only one character that mattered in Princess Precure. The credit. Princess Verbus. Also, Princess Troy. Princess Robo Knight. Robo Knight! <laughs> and also. 
Princess Takaru. Tenkuji Takaru. <laughs> he was killed by a Ganma on his 18th birthday. Now he must collect all 15 heroic icons. <laughs> Need a ride? But back to the current creek here. I actually found their characters relatable. I know, and it's crazy, isn't it? And I finally figured out and I figured out yeah, the plot and I You're breaking up. I figured out the magical girl episode. Character and stuff in the first act, in the first two acts, then fight scene slash action scene in the third act. You don't want to rift ponies, not even in memorial of John Masato Shimon. Need something? Take a look. can hear us. Anyways, oh damn, I procrastinated. And anyways, make road lead you to if they just chain, you know. There are a few things I still don't like about the Precure franchise. Go on. The lead's voice actress isn't that good. She's not... I can under... I can hear that she's trying, but... Everyone around her sounds a lot better. And some of the first episode's plot doesn't make a lot of sense. Shouldn't I? Just and I'm a, a little, little nervous I mean, I earn my own for when these uh, voice actresses eventually infiltrate no Super happen. Sentai as our as our villains. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Hello, 
Farewell, friend. Farewell. I ain't done. Oh, thank you. Divine but that's bless your pretty much. Heart. Only if I can help it. Oh wait, yeah. But damn There's also in the sober. fact that Hey, in the Bannered Mare, once again, the mascot character is annoying and cute. Get it for me. But they this time, it's gone. Come the on. mascot character is voiced by that baby thing from Argonian the Ale. Zudin Sentai Kyoru Jerry. You remember that baby thing? Yes, I shan. What? Oh, I'm thinking of a different precure. No, I'm talking about the current one. Still. I haven't seen Maho yet. That was last year. Alright, I haven't I seen think. Sweet Precure, whatever it's called. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Make it quick. Oh, did you if need it's something? work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the... It might be worth the putting work. into Spandex Friday as a replacement to the princesses. Well, well, when we actually move on to the next stage of Spandex Friday, yes. Princess Precure will go into our uh, anime slot. No, oh, actually, that's uh, turn yeah, is it Spandex Friday? I think Spandex Friday is where we do pre cure. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, Spandex Friday is where pre cure someone was. Them that can change your face, mm. make you look And I'm glad different. I just ducked in and that? out of pre cure. The companions in your basket? They're recruiting new members, from what I hear. Be careful out there. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the Anyways, that's it. Hi. Good to see you. You're angry. Then how do we stand it? Excellent. Father, You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. It takes a while to make a dress bed. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. But I don't want to be patient. I want to get right. Now. Father promised. Oh, you have a Texture issues. That is definitely texture issues. There is some texture issues going on with the White Run Guard uniform. Gonna have to fix that.
wearing the perfectly fine white on guard uniform. Why is this one broken? Huh. I'll look into that. See what's going on. Fine, so why are some of them broken? I'll have to look into that. Good to see you. We need to meet Fralia in her home. Do you also have the broken armor? Yep. I have to look into that. Our original home. Late enough. Still wearing the broken armor. I mean, I definitely have to look into why the white run guard armor, or at least one version of the white run guard armor, is broken. Say the college has been snooping around Tarkov. David the Bow, eh? I'm a soap man myself. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. Isn't important. Let's leave it at that, Welcome huh? To our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? So make me blow you Can up with magic. And put that down. She's here to help us find Thoro. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, mother. So, you're here to help? I'm not even sure what's going on. My brother Thorov. He was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not. I just know it. The Imperials captured him, and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured, and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Break into a person's house, ransack it, and search it for loot. I think you found the right person. The Battleborns, the Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. What sort of proof do you Anything need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you 
you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. My poor Frale, I think Thorund's still alive, but I know better. Tell me about yourself. I don't think so. Are you a companion? Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. This really does paint Skyforge Steel as something special, doesn't it? And yet, eh, not really all that special. Maybe I'll tinker with that and change it via mod. Now, there's mm -hmm. actually another reason I wanted to come in here. Because there is a mod I installed some time ago, and it starts in here. And they'll give us some new armor to tinker with, if I can find the book relating to it. The Secret of Steel. By Smith Mordek of Durthul from Isengard. Fire and wind come from the sky, from the gods of the sky. By Shores is our god, Shore, and he lives in the earth. Once giants lived in the earth, and in the darkness of chaos, they fooled Shore, and they took from him the enigma of steel. Shore was angered, the earth shook, and fire and wind struck down these giants, and they threw their bodies into the water. But in their rage, the gods forgot the secret of steel and left it on the battlefield. And we who found it, we are just men, not gods, not giants, just men. And the secret of steel has always carried with it a mystery. You must learn its riddle. You must learn its discipline. Discipline for no one, no one in this world can you trust. Not man, not woman, not beast. Only the steel can you trust. Do you see the riddle? Do you see the beauty? But what is a true steel? What is to truly forge coal? Iron rain from the sky? What would st be steel without our hands to grab it? It's just to us, to our own will. The strength to wield and tame the steel comes directly from our soul. That is the riddle of steel. Now you must learn how to tame its strength, how to bend it and make it unbreakable, how to shape it into a sword and harness its power, tame its spirit. Once one wise man said, one should through the sword to shape his personality and to stamp out evil through perfection of his own character. The secret of the ancestor steel lies in the strike of a lightning. Imperials call it Fulganite. We call it Sky Steel. In its combination with special forges, we can create the steel of the ancients. Fulganite is the secret material of true steel. Fulganite coal and extreme heat. Our Isengard forges are powered by the deep heats of our soil. But in Skyrim, there is only one forge that can work with Sky Steel. A sky forge whose fire comes from the bowels of the earth. Now, to learn a secret, you must find a true example of craftsmanship of the ancients, a sword, a weapon, a forgotten out modern mystery, whose power rivaled the most precious Daedric artifact. Mastering that art is hard, requiring a high smithing advantage, and very few men on this world are able to truly craft such items because of the rarity of the minerals, forges, and above all, arcane art. The gods have blessed our land with the gift of steel. When we fight in the sky, thunderstorm and lightning strike the land, and it's now that the sky steel form itself takes a opposing claim to the eastern gods. We gather from the ice and the fire, where it was forgotten by the eternal. Our weapons made in poor fulganite and iron. No god, demon, or giant created. We did. Men. Now in Skyrim, there are several examples of ancient steel called sky steel. But these are mere imitations of what it could be true at modern steel. As the statues and burrows are said to be filled with ancient and rusty examples. But they were created in this land and hold true traces of Fulganite inside. You must know that there is one sword, the at modern, one full grid example of steel making arcane art of the ancients. The most exquisite swords ever created. Forged by wind, fire, ice, and coal. While this metal comes directly from the sky when God hammers stroke upon the land in the creation time. It's said to have been buried in the ancient mound 
of Hyboria are located west of the Grey Moor. Find that sword, and you will be able to learn the secrets by reforging its original status by using a full Gnite ingot coal in the right heat. Because steel weapons do not can, can, because steel weapons do need constant care by oiling and tempering to preserve the edge sharp and the body flexible. The riddle of steel. That's why the stone pillar pu puzzle. Right. Well, that presents an interesting question. Where do we want to go first? To find the ancient weapon? Or to Helgen? I'll leave that up to our lovely viewing audience. To her. Thorold's disappearance has left our family in shambles. Why do you think the Battleborn? It's are hardly involved? a secret that they have ties to the Empire and hate anyone who speaks out against it. Thorold did worse. He took action against the Empire, and the Battleborns knew it. You can be sure Thorold is still alive. He's my son. I just. I feel it in my heart. Oh, you'd understand if you had children. Who is the best blacksmith in Skyrim? <laughs> I can tell you're new around here asking a question like that. My husband, Eorland, tends the Skyforge up at Lodasker. The companions need Hall. Oh, there's no finer smith in the Nine Holds. You should ask him about his work. It's the only subject that'll get him talking. Well, that and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing battle bones. Here's your vest. Head up the steps from the market and look to your right. I can't miss it. You take care of yourself next. So, find evidence of Thorold's fate. We Grey Mains got just as much to be proud of as them battle bones. But you won't see us in All right, let's see what we can find with the Battleborns then. Legio House. Drunken Huntsman. Here's the Battleborn. Remain. That was a clan battle board. Kid do for fun well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the Grey Mane's yard. And me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach so and look for bird's eggs. But I don't do that oh, stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me and then I get in trouble. Mother, you got no sense of humor. You know that? Mm -hmm. Why don't you pick up where you Damn know? those Grey Mane's. Grey Mane or Battleborn? So considering I'm in the Battleborn house, I'm going to say Battleborn? Then I say, well met, friend. I can tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. How did you know it really? Oh. Be 
Hold on. Can I get a little more? Good. And persuasion. No. Well, I'm not up to Bella. Hello, friend. I think you know what really happened to the world green. Between the two of us, his family is better off thinking he's dead. Thorold and I have history, all right? We used to be friends, so I looked into it when he disappeared. I found out the Thalmor have him, and they don't let anyone go. So I kept my mouth shut. Like I said, his family is better off believing he's gone, because he's never coming back. How do you know this? I used some contacts in the Legion, asked some questions. Was told I should mind my own business. If Thor is alive, where is he? Last I'd heard, he'd been carted off to Northwatch Keep. Ever heard of it? If you go in there, you don't come out. Ever. Here, see for yourself. This is the last word I received. I'm telling you, he's gone for good. Right then. My friend Alava? Adelstein. Missive from General Tullius. It has come to my attention that inquiries have been made to the whereabouts of one Thorold Greenleaf. My duty is for me that Thalmor agents have taken possession of the prisoner and escorted him to North Watchkeep. I don't think I need to elaborate. It's in everyone's best interest if the matter is dropped entirely. Trust there will be no further inquiries, General Tullius. The seer? She says things will get better for me once I start sticking up for myself. Can I help you? Please, anything you can I do to help me find I have proof that Thorold lives. I knew he wasn't gone. I just knew it. Please, get that to Adelstein right away. Take care now. Do you have news? Did I you have find something? Proof. I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. <laughs> then we know where to hit him. When will you be making some more tea over that? You're going to assault North Watch Keep. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? <laughs> Thorald can't be left to those monsters. Let me see if I can bring him back on my own. What? You, alone, reasoning with the Thalmor? That's madness, friend. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Well, I believe that's everything we need to do here in White Run. For the moment. Hi. So then, that still asks the question that I asked before. Where should we head to next? Should we head to Helgen, or should we head to find the ancient weapon? Hello. Hello, Digi Miner. We're choosing our next I course just... of action here in Skyrim. Shall we head to Helgen to investigate these rumors? I just finished binge-watching Mystic Force. Oh, vampires. Back to the earth with you, vampire. <laughs> vampires versus earth magic. Earth magic always wins. Whoa.
Yes. I yeah, I can see that purpose. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out why these white one guard outfits are broken. That is a weird bug. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. Off camera, obviously. Come on, Steam, start up. So, Florbus, did you miner? Where shall we head to next, Helgen, to investigate the rumors of dragons? Or shall we find the ancient weapon? Hmm. Okay, like, will the ancient weapon help with the investigation? I don't know. It's from a mod. Uh, it should give us brand new weapons and new armors, but honestly, I don't know how well they stack up against other stuff I have. Wow. No, I mean, going like, to the if the weapon helps with the investigation, I would go get the weapon first. Unless it's too much of a hassle. Let's see. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, like, what say we... I'm playing Breath of the Wild, and there's this really good weapon, but it's like, all, it's like, near this party and scout, I'm like, uh, nah, I think I'll just go with my current gear. Yeah, well, let's make our way to Helgen. Investigate these rumors of dragons. Yeah. Sounds maybe we'll, interesting. Maybe we'll finally figure out why all these word walls keep talking to us. <laughs> what do you mean, ponies? What he means by ponies is when I'm done with Skyrim. We're going to be riffing G3 ponies. Oh god, you mean Generation 3 of My Little Pony? Yes. No! No! Yes. You, you can't do it. It's too terrifying. We will be doing it. No one has the courage to watch it. Well, thankfully we're only watching one episode. Only the bravest of warriors can watch G3 of My Little Pony. We're only going to be watching one episode. I think we can get through it. Even still. <laughs> Can't we do Generation 4, please? No. We must do Generation 3. But Generation 4 is best pony generation. That's why we're doing Generation 3. It has derpy. Oh, excuse me. Muffins. Actually, in continuity, she was called Derpy Hood. Yeah, but as of episode 100, Slice of Life, her canon name is Muffins. She's also Ow. been called... She's also been called Dip... Well, she's also called... Uh, yeah, that... Ow, sir. She has like three but names in canon. We will be watching D G three ponies, yes. Even when I down it's Yes. No, it's your mic quality. You have ear rape mode on. Like Digi is the master of ear rape. I just have a headset. I kid you not, his volume is at 25%, and I can still hear him loud and clear, and he still hurts my ears. Oh, sorry about that. I, no, that is not a joke. I am being completely serious. No exaggerations. You're being completely serious. No exact. Uh, no exaggerations. He's. I. I have his volume at about 25 percent. Really, it's 26, but I couldn't get the slider to 25. And I. Is 
this it's better. still and That's when he talks, better, yeah. I can't hear you over him. That is much better. Hey, just came in, just came to pop in because I remembered a fact. Okay, there you're at seventy-five now. Hey, I remembered an important fact. What? Yeah. Decades after is a dad ad now. As of yesterday ish oh okay yeah congratulations okay uh to the actor of sukasa kadoya congratulations i know he's not watching this but still that poor kid my father's decade other people have got have got marvelous <laughs> And Agito is her father. I've got decades. <laughs> and I remember Ian, that mm. it, that the actress who played Hurricane Blue showed her kids it, 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 her back when she was it, in Super Sentai. It. So I wait, how... decade had two actors. No, I'm. I... Decade had two. Sukasa Kadoya had two actors, and one of them also played a Red Buster, apparently. Well, there's always a suit actor. Oh. Yeah, don't forget Seiji Takaiwa is every main common rider. And I think every Red Century. Okay, yeah, so to... to Masahiro Inoue, congratulations for becoming a father. Yeah, you yeah, guys in no way spelled yeah. I N O U E. Yeah. Just came to uh, so that way you can add it to the jokes uh, for Garo Goldstorm. Yeah, congratulations to Masahiro Inoue and his spouse, Jaime Natsuki. I think I butchered the first name. <laughs> it who married just last year actually and during 2016 oh dang decades tall masahiro's like six feet tall i i did not know that anyways that's it just came uh, uh, just came to say that decades a daddy now Oh god. Oh no. Uh, uh, what do you but want? you want to what but you know um, what that means. Nikolai, I hope you realize who Sukasa Kadoya's actor married. That's it. Bye. All right, so have you ever heard of the Sailor M Moon musical? La Reconquista. Somebody help. Have you ever heard of that, Nikolai? Can't say as I have. Well, basically, Jaime Natsuki, who married Masahiro Inoue, play performed as Queen Serenity in that musical. Huh. I'll also mention that Hiromu Uth's actor looks a lot like the leader of Team Raidwild from Gaim. Like, right here, see? Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Yeah, just put on a pair of glasses and boom. Or, looks like Marcus Otsu. <laughs> Marcos doesn't look that much like him. For I mean, like, the operator, or for, or Gurry Don is way more handsome. The body turned to ash you to touch it, but somehow a leather journal survived. Don't tell Marcos they said that. 
that he, he that a guy who got hit in the head with the frying pan is more handsome than him. Don't tell him I said that. He's probably gonna watch the stream and hear it anyway. Maybe. Either way, I'm dead. Yes. Yes, you are. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can get it to actually highlight the Adventurer's Journal. No, doesn't want to highlight the Adventurer's Journal, of course not. This journal contains several undated entries. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction. From the Great War, a lot Guys. of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is if ending soon. If one forgets Narutaki's name, should he be expelled from the fan base? I don't really care either way. Okay. Investigate the cave, mention the journal. Or warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. Well, let's see. Finding the cave is always a pain in the ass. I could just go directly to Riverwood and warn them about the dragon attack. You know what's you know what's probably the biggest challenge in Common Rider? What? Finding a shot of Tino Aishi. Who but he's wearing a shirt that does not go down ha down halfway. I mean, does not go halfway down his thighs. That's a valid point. Like, I did... If... Like, seriously. I don't even know if there's, like, any... A single shot that Sh Shu Watanabe ever took where he wasn't wearing a top that went halfway down his thighs. If there is, I'd like to see it. Wonderful. Bandit. Oh, he's wearing a jacket. Oh, that's a cosplay. over here this weird house that apparently has two icons someone get me this action figure right here Someone just get me that action figure. Dragon sighting. I've heard talk about a dragon, but didn't believe one. One flew in last week, ever since I have seen him fly back and forth from a nearby mountain peak. My life seems to move away. What do you mean is that raw issue? The creature's lair just south of our here near Bear's Cave Mill. What madness. Oh, Ancient Descent. Oh, we don't need to be investigating dragons. We already have one dragon we're investigating. 
Dragons, dragons, dragons. Am I right? That way? Dragons, dragons, dragons. I really do hate finding this case. It is always such a pain. What, what is this? We just keep finding all kinds of stuff out here in the boonies. Hey, this is an actual intact house. I do feel bad for Shu Watanabe, though. Like, a few years after Kamen Rider O's ended, he did fucking Pokemon commercials. Uh... And Janas is just blowing the wolves up. And apparently a frostbite speeder. Is this... What is this a shrine to? Tell us. Fair enough. That's a lot of adventurers on patrol. Yes, I ship it. Guys, I just found this amazing meme. <laughs> Purpose, what do you think of this meme? Nikolai. Yeah, it's okay. It's 9.30. We should be starting the reaction streams. Yep. I completely agree. Considering I just became over-encumbered in Skyrim, and I just killed a bunch of bandits, we're probably at a good stopping point anyway. It's time to switch over for ponies. A dead bear. Give me a second. Just random dead bear on the road. Skyrim has some crazy moments. Alrighty, folks. Time to get ready for ponies. Ready for the madness. Gosh. I've got a lot of stuff to check off camera anyway. Before the next Skyrim stream. But there you go, folks. We will be back. Oh, really, Furbish? You can't. <laughs> I just dropped a Skyrim. But Furbish says he will most like he he can't do it tonight. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Like I just. <laughs> what you thought he'd be able to do it? Well, we can't do it without Furbus. This is, that's kind of the point of Morphin Monday. We need to have our normal team. And Misato's already said he's not going to do it. 
So I guess we're gonna be doing it tomorrow. A 19 minute episode. You can't spare a half an hour, Furbus. Alright, well, let me properly end the Skyrim stream anyway. Because I do have stuff I need to check off camera. See you next time, folks.